Hello everyone. Welcome back to another fantastic topic in Excel. And today we are going to discuss how we can protect to Excel worksheet by using a macro recorder. If you like my tutorials do not forget to subscribe, and click the bell icon to stay tuned with my new uploads. A macro is an action or a set of actions that you can run as many times as you want. In short, a macro is a sequence of instructions that Excel execute when you tell it to. Today we will be looking at how we can protect a cell or worksheet by using macro recorder. Here I have a worksheet of employee payroll. The end user has to update the sheet on a weekly basis. Protecting a worksheet will help us to keep data safe where it does not require to change frequently. Protecting a worksheet can be done manually from the format menu option, but it will be time consuming if we have multiple sheets. In this case using a macro recorder will be a better option to do this task. Ok. Let me show you how we can do this step by step. First, go to developer tab and click record macro. If you cannot find the developer tab, go to file, and click excel options. The options window appears, click customize ribbon, and check the developer from main tab panels to make it visible. Fine. Click the macro recorder button, and I am going to call this macro like, input cell protection. Be noted, the macro name should be without any space. If you need to separate the word you may use underscore character. Next, I will place a shortcut key by click shift plus P, then it will create a shortcut for you. Then, keep the default store macro location, then hit OK. Next, go to home tab and click find and select button, and choose the go to special. Here, select the constants option, and check only the numbers, then hit OK. Now you can see the input cells are selected automatically, where the end user can modify. Next, go to format option and unlock the cells. Then change the color of the input cells, so the end user will know the input cells. Then, go to the format menu again and click the protect sheet. Here you can set a password to protect the worksheet if you want. But I will leave it blank for now. OK. We have done it. But, do not forget to stop the macro recording, from the developer tab, and it is a must. As we expected, you can see here the excel sheet is allowing only to modify the highlighted cells, and by protecting other cells. Let us test this macro on my daily production log sheet as well, which is completely different worksheet, and it is not protected. To protect this worksheet, go to developer tab and click macro button. Here, you can see the macro which we have recorded earlier. To run this macro, just click the run button to start the macro. Now you can see, the macro executes the operations that we have recorded earlier, and where the end user are able to modify only in the highlighted cells. To unprotect the cells again, go to format option and click the unprotect sheet. You can run the recorded macro as many times as you want. Cool. We have done it for today. I hope you have learned and enjoyed watching this tutorial. See you next week. Thank you for watching, please like, comment on this video, and subscribe to my channel for all the latest updates. Have a nice day.